Currently, he's the former acting deputy secretary of the DHS and a Heritage Foundation visiting fellow. Welcome, Ken. Um, let's just Good talk. Good to be with you. Thank you. Let's just talk really quick. What do you think about all these changing policies? I mean, your administration or the Trump administration worked so hard to put them in place, and they're just being dismantled right before our eyes. What's going to happen? Well, I mean, it's already happening. Uh, we've got an invasion going on at the southern border. Um, and mind you, this is all happening. And in two weeks, we're going to be talking about their H.R. 1 bill, right, which eliminates penalties for illegal aliens voting in elections. So let's not kid ourselves about what the path plan here is. This is about Democrats believing they can just create voters by abandoning the law. And um, I agree with your, your last visitor. You know, American Hispanics, they own businesses, they have families, they have religious beliefs. They're like other Americans, and they, they, they want a country of laws, too. And that, has, uh, that is being ripped apart systematically and very quickly uh, by the Biden administration and very intentionally uh, with a purpose. Yeah, and, you know, uh, and they believe that it's a path to maintaining their own power. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, Hispanics along that border, so many Hispanics are, are business owners. They're, the, you know, the most entrepreneurial yes. demographic in America. Right. Their businesses have been shut down purportedly because of COVID. We need to lock down. That's what the Democrats say. Um, and then, you know, they're seeing people come across <laughs> the border. So lock down our economy, lock down our people. Um, and then open the borders. It makes it makes zero sense. I want to show you this clip no from Newt, Gin Newt Gingrich. Take a look and then give me your reaction on the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a clip. It's a read. So here we go. There's no excuse for Razor Wire to be blocking the American people from our capital. It is the people's house. The fencing is more than an eyesore. It's an insult. So um, no borders, no walls at the border. But then, yeah. you know, uh, what about our capital? Work. Nancy knows it. Nancy knows it. Walls work. And so if it's to protect Nancy, it's a good wall. Just like federal police officers who are fighting left-wing rioters are Nazi stormtroopers to Nancy Pelosi, but they're heroes if they're protecting Nancy Pelosi. I think they're all heroes, um, and I think walls work because we've proved it. Whether it's at the Capitol or the border, we'd be better off moving that wall to the border um, it's already funded, by the way, if they would let the funds roll to that. Uh, it's, it's really a pathetic comparison, uh, and, it, and, and it really belies their underlying motives. And it also ropes in another one of their political canards, and that's that they somehow have to be protected from everyone on the right. They're doing magnetometers because Republicans are yeah, dangerous coming onto the floor, right? Uh, it's, oh, just one insult after another. I don't. I have and to take. I, have and I don't faith know why these congressmen. In the American people and the wisdom of the American people, that they see through this, they understand what's going on, um, and b in part because of how brazen they're being about it. Yeah, I, I, I was just going to say, Ken, that I can't understand why Kevin McCarthy or any of these congressmen um, will stand for walking through those magnetometers. It is an insult, not just to them, but to the voters that put them in office. Um, it, it's, it's like saying they're it all is. domestic terrorists and, and they need to be... that's an important connection. Um, yeah. That's a very important connection Absolutely. to make. And do, th there are people fighting it. Congressman Clyde's fighting it. Yeah. Louis Gohmert is fighting it. There are others who would like to. The fines yeah. are so big... That, um, but you yeah. can expect to see more on that. They're going to keep fighting that, and we're going right. to be very proud of them. All right. Thank you, Ken. Really appreciate you joining us this evening. Up next,